Hello and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing Happy Wedding and its coordinating dies. This set is so cute. I am in love with those little lovebirds. So let's go ahead and stamp all these images out. Here we have those lovebirds. And then we have two separate birds too. So here we've got our little boy bird and girl bird there. We have some great wedding bells. And then my favorite might be this wedding cake. I think it's just too cute. We have some great hearts. This fun little knotted heart, which is going to go along with one of our sentiments. An engagement ring. And of course, some shine marks to go with the engagement ring. A little bouquet. A champagne glass. Some bubbles. And here are just some fun hearts for kind of setting the scene or creating little backgrounds. And we've got a little flower too. And of course, some music notes. Now here are the sentiments, which I love in this set. We've got hooray, XOXOXO, which means you could make this for anniversaries and things like that too. Happy wedding, congratulations, you're engaged, which is great. I think a lot of times it's hard to find engagement stuff out there. You tied the knot, which goes along with that fun knotted image. And of course, an exclamation point that you can add to the end of any of those phrases. So now I'm going to use my Copic markers to do some coloring. And one of the projects I'm going to do is inspired by a project by Nicole. And I love how she left little white bellies on the birds. I think it's just so cute. So I'm kind of drawing out the white area to give myself a border and then filling in with the blue. And now they've got little white bellies, which I think is really adorable. And you'll see I'm shading there a little bit by touching the light marker to the dark marker because I don't have that middle shade, so I'm faking it by, by doing that. And so I'm going to add the little dark there. And then to help blend the dark, I'm going to once again touch the light marker to the dark marker and just blend him all out. I love these two colors of purple. I think they're so pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this little girl bird out. and color in their beaks. Now I'm going to add some shading to the uh, bells here. And so I'm going to kind of create shading going all the way around this bow, and then I'll blend it to be lighter out towards the bottom of the bell. So I'm just blending that edge right into that area that I left white. And now I'll do the same type of idea on the edges of the bells. And so I'll have the dark marker and then blend the light into the middle. Now when I was looking at the bells, they kind of didn't feel like it had enough going on. So I decided to add that darker color and just do a really thin line around the bow and then around the edge where the uh, little bells overlap. And you can see there how it's kind of giving more of that three-dimensional feel, adding that darker marker in. And now just for continuity, I'll add a little dark marker around the edges of the bottom part of the bell too. And then I can blend dark to medium, and then medium to light. I just got these two markers recently, and I really love these colors of pink. They're really pretty. They're bold, but not too bright, so it's kind of a fun, fun color to play around with. I really like them. And I'm going to do the same color with these little double hearts here. Just adding some little shading and then blending out into that area that I left white. Now I'm going to go ahead and color this cake. And I was inspired by the little blue and purple bird up there. I kind of wanted to get this kind of like tropical color feel to it. So I'm using kind of this palish cream yellow. Uh, and I'm just using the same exact marker to add a little bit of shading under uh, those little hearts there. Then I'll use a really pale blue to go along with the blue bird. And then I'll use um, a light pink for the hearts. Oh, there, first I'm gonna, of course, color the little uh, the little cake stand with uh, some W1. It kind of looks like a silver or a platinum. And then R20 for those hearts. 
And then here I wanted to show you a different way of coloring the cake. So I like doing it that way, but this way I wanted to get just this kind of platinum wedding silver feel to it. I was really inspired once again by Nicole's project that I'm going to make uh, later, and I wanted to get this kind of silver wedding feel to it. And I feel like the warm grays really give that color. And then by adding a little bit of the shading around the outside edges of the cake, it makes it it gives it a little bit of movement, almost makes it look a little bit more like maybe it might be frosting or fondant frosting or something. So I, I think it's really fun to color either the whole cake or to color just the bottom parts of the cake and just get different looks depending on how you're feeling that day. And so now I'm just blending those two colors out. Like I said, it's not a lot of shading, but it's enough to make it look like it might be kind of frosted around the edges. And then now I'm going to use a toner gray to do uh, the little uh, stand there. I wanted it obviously to stand out from the platinums of the warm. So now we've got a nice silver there going for that cake stand. I'm using a really light gray marker on the diamond just to kind of give it a little bit of shine. And then I'll just blend out that little ring there with some cool grays. And uh, that was, that's looking pretty cute there. And now I'm just adding some quick color to this bouquet. I really like this little bouquet image. I think it's really sweet and you could use it for all sorts of different occasions. Um, it's just really, I think, Valentine's Day or anything like that. And so we'll just add a little color to those hearts. And now we can start working with the dies of the set. So I'm just bending them apart at those little wire tabs to separate all of the images. That way I am ready to go and cut out everything that I've colored. And so I'll just line those dies up right with the outside edge of the stamped image. And I like to hold them in place with some post-it note tape. And once I've got them all taped down, I can run them through my die cut machine. And this is my favorite part, the reveal. I love it, especially with dies like this one. So this one actually cuts out the center of the ring, which looks so cool. So here are all the die cut images. And I wanted to show you how you can combine these different images. So you can use the little bird couple on the cake, or you can do the two separate birds on the cake. You can also add the hearts on top of the cake too. So that's a totally different look. If you didn't want the birds, you could just have the hearts on there and kind of go with this whole heart theme. Another really, really fun thing is this hearted, knotted heart here, which I love how the die cuts it out. I like to put the two birds on either end and then use the you tied the knot sentiment, which I think is really cute and punny and sweet, especially with how cool that die cut is. And then you could also just make the birds in love and maybe not even necessarily make it a wedding card, maybe anniversary or Valentine's Day or just any kind of general love card. And here I wanted to show you another coloring of the cake and birds. I think something that's really fun to do with these birds is use the colors of the wedding. So when you get your wedding invitation, kind of see what colors they used and try to match the wedding. So here you have a tropical wedding, a nice bright color wedding, and then a classic blue and silver wedding. So you could really have fun personalizing it to the bride and groom, uh, which I really love there. And I hadn't colored in the flowers yet because I wasn't sure who was going to go on what cake. So I'm color matching the flower of the girl bird to the cake. That way uh, it really just, you can see it adds that finishing touch. And I'm just using a little darker marker for the center of that flower. Now I'm going to be recreating Nicole's cute milk carton wedding favors. Uh, I was so happy when she said I could recreate them because I thought they were so adorable. And here I've got the milk carton pieces all cut out. And I'm using one of the new stitched borders, as you can see there, along the bottom edge. And it's really going to add a great finishing detail. Now to make sure I line these all up, I'm going to go ahead and kind of push these two pieces together and line that border up with the previous one. That way it looks like a continuous line all the way around the box. Man, I just love those stitch borders. It just looks so cool. And I had made some pencil guide marks, so I'm just making sure to erase those. And now I can go ahead and add my adhesive along the two tabs. And once I've done that, I can start to fold along all of the score lines that the die created for me. So you'll see there I already have one folded. I'm going to go ahead and fold this one here. And I'm going to use an acrylic block once again to uh, kind of help me crease those fold lines down. And now that I've folded all of the edges, I can also kind of help guide those little lines that make the top of the milk carton. So I always like to just push those in just a little bit just to help me when the whole box is assembled. 
and now I can create the whole box. Now I'm starting to adhere these pieces together and I should have thought this through first because I wanted to do some stamping. Really now would be the time to do stamping even before you fold all the edges, but I kind of forgot about it. So you'll see what I end up doing. It ends up working out okay. <laughs> So now I can peel off that other piece there. And this is my favorite part because it's so easy. You just fold the two edges over and they meet and that's it. So now you've formed your box. Now here is a brand new set that's coming out also called Owen's ABCs and it's got this cute little heart in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that out in some of the black licorice ink. And I just love these letters. I think they're really cool and fun, those circular letters. They're really great for monograms too. So now this die set for this set has six circles. Now all these circles are the exact same. We just wanted to give you extra circles so that you can cut out lots of letters all at once. So now I've got the great little heart cut out. And now I can start doing my stamping. So what I did was just flatten that box out and I'm holding it down with one hand and then stamping with the other one. It's, it's not the best, like I said, but it ended up working out okay. Now next time I'll remember to do my stamping before I actually assemble it. Now I wanted to do one of these cute tie ribbon closures for the top of the milk carton. So I went ahead and made some pencil marks there so that I know where to punch my holes. Now normally I would use an eighth inch hole punch, but I can't find it right now. So instead I'm using a needle. And so I just shoved the needle in there and kind of moved it back and forth until I could get the right size hole. Not the prettiest, but hey, it worked. <laughs> and then I used some silver sparkle lawn trimmings here to thread through the top. And you can see how well that closes the top of the milk carton and I think it's a really really cute look too. So I'm just going to tie a knot and then a bow right there at the top and now I can start to add my stamped and colored images. So I'm going to add this great cake here and I just love how it looks platinum. I think it's such a cool look and now I can add my cute little birds to the top of the cake. My bow wasn't completely behaving so I decided to use a glue dot behind it to hold it right in place and then now I put a little foam dot on that circle heart from Owen's ABCs and I'll put that right in the center of the bow. And I just think it's just the sweetest little favor for a wedding. Now here I'm creating a card based on a design by Shari with just slightly different colors because I wanted to show you how you can get really, really bright with the same exact images compared to what we just did on the milk carton. So I stamped this great happy wedding sentiment on some colored cardstock here and uh, I'm just cutting some little flagged ends. And then I can go ahead and add my pattern paper that's from Let's Polka Mon Ami to my card. And this is a four bar size card, which is three and a half by four and seven eighths. I'll add one of our new stitched ovals. And then I can add this brightly colored cake and birds with some foam adhesive to my oval and then add that sentiment right on the bottom there. And I love that just by changing the colors, you can get a completely different look out of this set. So this is Happy Wedding and it's Coordinating Dies. This set is so much fun. You can make cute favors or quick and easy cards. You can use different types of birds for the, the top of the cake there or the hearts too. So you can really kind of mix and match this set. You can also take that little knotted image and add the birds to either end of it and use the you tied the knot sentiments. That's one of my favorite ways to use this set too. So all of these little images are just so great for creating cute cards that you can customize for the recipients based on their wedding colors. I just love that idea. And I cannot wait to see what you guys do with this set. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.